Fanatics. I'm at Six Flags America. It is Saturday, July 5th, so I, I thought for a cool vlog. Um, I don't really go to shows, but here's a cool show at Six Flags America. Let's go look at it. I'll do another vlog later about what my day is like. But let's, let's have a look at this awesome guy here. Look at this. Hey everybody, it's uh, Coastal Fanatic here and we got Coastal Studios back what? again. <laughs> again, let's do this all over again. So we were actually at Six Flags America. If you all remember, um, we've been saying for a while now that we would be going to Six Flags America July 25th. And I gotta tell you, it this was probably one of the better days of Six Flags America. Larger crowds, larger crowds. But Even I was that's surprised. Okay. For my for this park being my home park, I truly was surprised with the fact that this is probably the crowdest I've ever seen it. So it was like um, half an hour lines for most things, maybe 20 minutes. Um, but still, good, that's yeah. not that bad compared to some other parks. So. Which is good. But here's the bad news: is that even though most of the coasters had two trains running, all the Gotham coasters like Joker's Dream, Superman Ride of Steel, and Batwing had one train, which yeah. sucks. Until they finally put two trains on Batwing, but operations here suck. Yeah, operations here are kind of shaky, so, uh, we, I mean, that's that, that's fine. We still had a good time, rode all the coasters once, except for Roar twice, and uh, got lots of footage, got to see the Cowboys vs. Pirate Show, which is hilarious, by the way. It's actually a really good show for Six Flags, and here's another thing, we're just going to point this out. We decided not to ride, we decided to skip Mind Eraser, we didn't think yeah, it was we, oh, worth yeah, it. Yeah, we rode every coaster except for Mind Eraser. <laughs> we, we thought it wouldn't be, I mean, the line was pretty long, even though they're running two trains, we just I didn't really feel like it was worth it. Yeah, it, it's an it. SLC. It doesn't matter. We're not going to write it. Not worth it. Typical. <laughs> yeah. um, and you can actually check him out in a later vlog that I'll be posting. I don't know which one of these will be first, but um, I was uh, in Mardi Gras section and uh, what do you know? He showed up. He's everywhere. So um, <laughs> I'm everywhere. What, what can I say? <laughs> So. All right, so I also just wanted to say one more thing is because there, there's out of all the coasters we rode, there's one coaster I think surprised both of us because it was running so well, and that's actually surprisingly Roar. Roar was running good. Roar was, was to good. the point where it was a little bit shaky, but it was actually fun, and yeah. I'm excited. We rode it twice. That's why we yes. rode it twice. It was running well. Running well. Even back row was good, and it's PTC, yeah. so you wouldn't expect great ride in the back seat because that's where yeah. it gets pretty rough, like some of the Kings Dominion rides. So, yeah. it, I mean, it was good. I, I was pleasantly surprised. Surprised. <laughs> so, I mean, it, I've surprised. Had a, I've had a long day. I want to go. We're, we're all really tired, even though the park uh, is open for about another half an hour. It's like eight, fifteen, and stuff like that. Eight twenty, something like that. So. so anyway guys, thank you for watching this coast, uh, Coaster vlog with, yep. of course, the awesome Coaster Studios go home, and yours truly, out. Coaster Fanatic. That's what, hey, don't cut it. I'm gonna, I, need a, I need a year's sleep. <laughs> about it. That's okay. All right. All right, guys, I'll see you in later vlogs and see you at other parks coming out. And as always, keep coasting, Roller Coaster Fanatics.